Now that the channel is time varying, we can introduce two important concepts, level crossing rate and average fading duration. The diagram in front of you shows you the time axis and the level of the signal. Let's call it Z. So it's function of time. Z of T changes with time. And this uh, solid line in black shows how the level is changing. Z represent the level, the threshold required for communication. For that level, we can see that the signal for some duration, it is above the required threshold. And then it crosses what we call the level crossing, the cross the level, and it goes down. For the first time, Tz1, there is a certain duration where we are below the threshold. It goes back, it goes down, Tz2. So this shows the duration for being in fade. This is a fade duration where your signal is not good enough. So we know we want to know the level crossing rate, the crossing rate of this level. How much time do we go up and down? How much time we cross, we go below the required level. And we want to know that if we cross the level, how, how long we're going to stay there. And that's the average fading duration. So the level crossing rate, LZ, is the average number of times per second the envelope Z of T, well, that is the received power level, would be, um, will cross the level Z, which is the reference value here, in the downward direction. So how many times, this is one, this is two, this is three, and in this diagram is showing you three. So how many times it crosses in the, in the downward direction? Well, the average fade duration, T bar standing for the average Z, is the average time the fading envelope is below a certain level Z. So we'll take this time one time, two time, three, and we'll average them out. So for Rayleigh fading with Clark's spectrum and the expected the expected value of Z of the of the board signal is two sigma squared. This is the the low bass equivalent. Uh, we will find out that we are not going over the derivation, but we can show that LZ, the level crossing rate, depends on the fade in the, the doubler, okay? So FD max. It also uh, depends on sigma, how with the channel values. So this is, uh, this is the level crossing rate. You can see, of course, if FD, equal to zero, we are not going to go into the negative direction. So LZ would be zero. And the larger the value of FD, then we expect to have larger value. So also here, we can see that um, the average time duration is inversely proportional to FD max. That is, um, if we have, if we have small value, of uh, the frequency, the double of frequency. We're not even going there, but if we, it means if we go, we'll stay there for a long time because it's slowly changing. And if we don't go, we'll again. So it's, uh, it has uh, inverse relation with, with the duration. If the channel is changing frequently, then we'll stay there for less time. So both of them are important, not just how, 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 how many times you go below the threshold, but if you go there, uh, how long do you stay there? You could be going down more frequent, but you're staying less. So the two together give you an indication of how the performance of the channel is. I'd just like to, want to note that some textbooks they use rho to stand for z over square root of b bar uh, average. And if you want to use that notation, then you can replace here with rho and uh, rho squared. So it's just a different notation. Those equations are important, and their meaning is also important. We'll be used solving some problems. All right, time to challenge you. We usually call it a practice, but let's call it a challenge now, just to excite you. Find the average fading duration or average fade duration for a threshold level of rho equal to 0 0.707 when the doubler frequency is 20 hertz. So this first question is asking about the level, the average fade duration. You can add to that the level crossing rate. For 
a binary digital modulation with bit duration of 50 bits per second is this really fading slow or fast for a binary digital modulation with a bit duration of 50 bits per second this is, go this is going to give you slow or fast fading now the third question is what is the average number of bit errors per second for the given data rate assuming that assume that a bit error occurs whenever any portion of a bit encounters a fade for which row is less than 0.1 so find try to use your understanding of the previous uh, level crossing rate and average fade duration to answer this question Please write your answers to these three questions, let's call it A, B, and C, in the comment section. Thank you very much, and I'll see you in coming videos.